happy Tuesday guys, Leanne here. Today we're gonna talk about um, eating mindfully, eating in moderation, and what does that mean? Over the past two weeks, I've been giving you little mini tutorials on uh, food and fitness as I am heading into the July Level Up program that I'm launching that is open now for enrollment. And basically, um, people are asking, well, it's easier said than done to eat with mindfulness and eating moderately, but most of the ladies I work with don't really trust themselves when left at their own devices. They feel like they will like go off the rails in terms of eating if they don't have strict, rigid, extreme food or fitness rules. So what is the first and easiest way they can start to practice eating with mindfulness? And so I'm gonna teach you that today. So the very first thing you can do to practice eating mindfully and with moderation that anyone can do, that you can do at any time with any meal is this. This is how you start practicing. You notice your body signals by asking yourself these questions frequently throughout the day, okay? So you notice your body signals and you check in with your body by asking yourself these, these questions throughout the day. How hungry am I right now? How full do I feel? That's if you've already started to eat, then you stop during eating and then you kind of check in, how full do I feel? How satisfied do I feel? Am I craving anything right now? What might that be? Am I good? And am I dis or am I thinking about the next thing I'm gonna eat after I finish this meal? So those kinds of questions, just checking in with yourself. Um, for example, it's you know, maybe you skip breakfast and now it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. And you notice you're like thinking like, mm, maybe you're getting hungry. That's where you would start checking with yourself and then say, how hungry are you right now? Are you ravenous or are, can you wait a half an hour? Can you wait an hour? And then pivot from there. Then as you're eating, as you're eating your meal, ask yourself, how full do you feel? Do you feel like you're getting full as you're headed toward completing that meal? Or are you already thinking about the dessert you're gonna have after you finish the meal? How satisfied do you feel? Are that meal you're eating, are you just eating like Brussels sprouts and chicken breast and you're not really satisfied because you're on a particular diet or you feel that carbs are bad or cheese is bad or salad dressing is bad? Um, how satisfied do you feel? If you don't feel satisfied at all, it's gonna lead you to have more cravings and wanna eat more within a shorter period of time. Again, are you craving anything? If you have a craving for something before you're gonna sit down to eat, the best thing is just to eat the thing that you are craving. Because if not, we end up chasing the craving. You end up eating your good healthy meal and then you're still jonesing for that craving because your your body, your taste buds, your brain, it wasn't satisfied. And then after everything is said and done, as you're almost finished with your meal, are you good? And this leads into that 80% rule, eating at 80% fullness rule. We can always finish food, all food is delicious, we can always finish off the plate, but a, one key goal of mindfulness is eating to 80% fullness. And this is something that I have to practice myself. The hardest thing that I struggle with is like finishing off my plate, you know, and that stems from way back when my parents always said, make sure you finish all your food. Don't waste any food, clean your plate. But what I'm recognizing now is that I really have to be mindful at stopping at 80% full. And that could just be like a few bites left. Then you might think, oh, what the heck is just a few bites? But it's like those few bites will put you over the edge. Then you'll start to feel like over 80% full or sort of semi-stuffed. So that turns into like surfing that disappointment where you see the little bites and you're like, I should just finish it. I don't want to package it up. I don't want to waste it. Um, but surfing that disappointment, surfing that feeling, that uncomfortableness, sitting with it, and then like just putting it away. You don't have to necessarily throw it away. Put it away, wait 20 minutes, come back for it later. So those are the one, two, three, four, five questions 
that you should check in with yourself when you start to practice mindfully eating. The second tool with eating with mindfulness and moderation is something that um, a coach that I work with, she calls it preemptive cheats. And basically it's just a way for you to feel satisfied with your eating style. Um, to preemptively feel satisfied with your eating style. A lot of times when people are dieting, they feel very restricted and disappointed and sad because they can't have a whole list of things. Everything is off limits. All the good stuff is off limits. So as preemptive cheats, it's practicing and picking and choosing your nutrition battles um, with discernment so that it's not typically, your preemptive cheats are not typically a healthy food, but they're not also just straight up all junk food either somewhere in the middle like um, so it's and it's strategically placing these um, preemptive cheats throughout your day so that and throughout the week to kind of like take the edge off um, so that you're not feeling deprived or you're not feeling like FOMO fear of missing out because you can't have this food it's just strategically placing these preemptive cheats sort of like throughout your eating day throughout the week um, to take the edge off because remember meals don't happen in isolation right meals don't happen in isolation so the key to with preemptive cheats is it provides you with a level of satisfaction where you're kind of like navigating the middle every time you sit down to eat where you're never fully you're never feeling deprived but you're never feeling stuffed to discomfort so um, preemptive cheats could be you really enjoy cream in your coffee you know how many women I work with that really like cream in their coffee and they eliminate it because they feel like it's too much fat it's too much calories no within reason cream in your coffee is a-okay if that's gonna help you feel satisfied and kind of like uh, quiet to your craving have cream in your coffee you're not asking for a full-blown uh, caramel frappuccino from Starbucks right that would be like the total deep end right of a preemptive cheat it's cream in your coffee another thing is salad a lot of people think oh I don't want to eat salad I don't want to eat vegetables what things can you add to make your salad really yummy and dish delicious is it like a little bit of wonton strips is it like a scoop of rice or a cut up potato are you sprinkling cheese are you gonna do like the two tablespoons of real ranch dressing and you know, it's all these things, again, that you're strategically placing within your meals throughout the day to keep them delicious, keep the flavor really high, and then thus keeping your satisfaction very high. So again, those are the two tips for today's mini tutorial. It's how to practice um, mindfulness with your eating by asking yourself those five key questions. And then also a tool that you can put in your arsenal in terms of how you can navigate the middle when it comes to eating on a certain plan or a certain way um, and balancing that between being too restrictive and then totally going off the rails. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day, gang. I'll see you tomorrow for a next uh, tutorial. If there's anything you want to listen to or anything you want to like find information, find out information about, let me know. Message me here and I'll cover that in detail later. Have a great day. Bye.